Hey there, everyone. This is uh, Coco Bella. She is a very finicky eater, and she has not eaten her food in a couple of days. So what we're going to do, I just got in some new food that I'm excited to try and see if maybe we can get Coco Bella to eat her food. Now, this is the dry food that she has been eating, but then, like I said, she gets a little finicky and then decides she doesn't want to eat it anymore. So, I got in this Dr. Harvey's Beef and Garden Veggies, and extremely excited to give this a shot. And I will tell you, this is a trial size, and I am very impressed with the packaging so far. Uh, you have to cut open the box, this little sticker here, it says, need help with your pet health, your pet's health? Our team of animal nutritionists will gladly provide one-on-one -on -one support and custom solutions. Little 800 number and email address there. On the inside of the box, we had a little card that says, every once in a while, a dog enters your life and changes everything. That has actually happened to me quite a few times. And a nice little handwritten note on the inside. There's also a little pamphlet of miracles, uh, stories of other pet owners that have had trouble with their dogs not being not eating, uh, different causes, and how Dr. Harvey's food has changed their lives. So, pretty impressive stuff there. And then on the inside of the actual package of food, they have this little handy instruction manual. And talks about transitioning your dog and how you want to start out with 75% of the food that they normally eat and a quarter on the first day of the new food. And then 50% or 75%, 50%, 25%, and then 100% the new food. So that is the path we plan to take. And there's also some instructions on how to cook the, yes, we do cook the food and the different serving portions for different size animals. Very impressed with the packaging. Um, and actually, right now, I am boiling some water so that we can give this a shot. So hold on a second. I'll be back in a minute and show you exactly what we do. So I'm going with a quarter cup, or actually a little bit, little bit more than that, of the... Um, the new food, the food new food mix, which is like a dehydrated, uh, or I guess not dehydrated, but freeze dried. Uh, you can see the vegetables and stuff that are in here. Now you've got the the old food that is mixed in, so you got a cup of water along with the. Uh, I gotta tell you, this smells actually pretty darn good. I might have to have some of this later. Um, just kidding. It now I just put the boiling water in. I'm gonna you're supposed to let this sit for about eight minutes, which is what I'm gonna do. A moment of truth, and then I'll come back. Coco is anxiously awaiting. We are going to go ahead and this is uh been sitting now. We have some fresh food here for Coco Bell, Coco Bella, Bon Appetit. Go ahead, girl. She's a little shy on camera. She doesn't like to eat in front of people. I might have to walk away acting like I'm not paying attention. <laughs> All right, we've got some tentative action going on here. Very finicky eater. <laughs> well, this could take a while, folks, but uh, I'll be back to you in a minute.
That's it, huh? Come on, girl. Good girl. Eat your food. It's a little unorthodox. She likes to lick around the rim of the bowl. It does appear as though she likes the taste. It, so I consider this a win because she has not touched the food bowl in a couple of days. So this is starting to look like a winner. Good girl, Coco Bella.